You're gonna hurt yourself. Let it rip, bud. How you feeling? <laughs> How are you giggling before you even exhale? Weed's never worked faster for anybody. Talent. Um, <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Requiem for a Tuesday. I'm here with Justice and Ricky, and we just went to Memphis. Hey, R- hey Ricky. Jesus. How's it going? Dude, you're not allowed to smoke weed before the show anymore. Period. I mean, already? Sample that. You're off the rails. Yeah, that's how I go. No wonder that waiter called you a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I was honestly thinking about whether or not we were going to bring it up. That's why I brought it up before we started. But you threw a ritz right, <laughs> right in there. Oh you you want to go chronologically? We can start from the top. We should. Walking in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we went to Memphis, Tennessee. Not for Elvis. We didn't even go. Good. We didn't even think about We Nobody even talked about it. Well, I told Justice that his daughter was having a memorial, and he's like, he has a daughter? <laughs> it's like, yeah, and she's dead? That's what I just said. Like, had fuck. a daughter. <laughs> yeah, he had one. I was like, damn. Okay. Yeah. So we should go, right? We didn't go. No, it was. I'm sure it was a mess. It was probably really crowded. Well... While we were white out people for, love Elvis. While we did, we go out for lunch that afternoon because it was dead wherever we went, and it was because everybody was at the funeral. <laughs> correct, that's precisely right. That's when we went to Automatic Slims, right? That's correct. Yeah, well, well, I don't remember how busy it was actually. It wasn't. Okay, we got right. We didn't wait for one table the whole time. That, right, that's true. Yeah. Well, except for the liquor store. Yes. Oh, that's that, true. That, that was place was place. that place was a little full. Ten a.m. on Saturday, right? But that was our fault. Yeah, yeah, that was our fault. That place is so small. Yeah, it was really small. That's the only reason why it all it needed that long of a wait too. Well, it was chill though. No, the even... wait was that long because it takes them an hour and a half to make breakfast. Uh, it was definitely. It took so long. It was definitely a long. And time. I was so hungover that every <laughs> second I was like, I'm gonna get mad at this guy. I didn't sit next to the you. guy wouldn't look at me. Yeah. He but like if he would have made either. eye con he eye didn't. contact with me for more than three seconds, I would have been like that I was Hey mad. man, what's going on <laughs> yeah. here? This is like a twelve seater. <laughs> and everybody in the restaurant's eating. So <laughs> what's happening right now? There's food on every table except mine, and it's been an hour. What a vivid experience. Well, yeah, that place was like in shambles. They were like running around trying to get it all back together. The guy was talking about like we got to close in like an hour, so he was like turning people away. And then, yeah, Adam had to wait like an extra like 15 minutes for that burger. It was. They, I thought he. I thought they were making like a, a gourmet platter the way he was talking about like, oh, my bad, this will be out in a little bit. And they gave him a... I don't know. You let me know how it was, but it looked like a pretty straightforward breakfast burger. burger. It was. Here's the thing. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't hot. It was like half brisket, <laughs> half something. Yeah. Right? The bl- it was a good blend, the way a burger should be. The breakfast but burger. It I took a remember. really long time, and all it had on it was eggs and bacon, <laughs> and the side was potatoes. Did they fuck up the first one? You think they fucked up the first one? And that's Maybe why it the took first so long? three. <laughs> I don't know what could have happened. No, we were deep in our meals when he finally yeah, got hit. My, and yeah. my, like, my eyes were bloodshot red. I could feel a throbbing in my brain. <laughs> and every second that went by, I'm like, I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm first, so hungry. I just want to dehydrating. Yeah. Well, yeah, so so much for chronological order, I guess. Yeah. But <laughs> 10 a.m. on Saturday. We fast forward. <laughs> we can, let's throw it back now. <laughs> We're doing like a Pulp Fiction storytelling yeah. here. Yeah. You piece it together. And the end We're not is doing Justice any movies is a today. faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the story starts and ends. That's true. So, how do we begin? True. True. What time um, is it? 5 a.m. in Memphis? <laughs> nah, we, we can, can do... Start... D- how, is your, how is your train ride? On the, well, on the way there, it was it was fun because it's like you're yeah just got off work. You're like 
taking edibles. You're hanging. So okay, this is a little bit better. <laughs> right, so you just get, <laughs> so we just get, you know get off work. We're taking edibles. We're smoking carts on the way to the fucking train station. We get on the train. It's chill. We're hanging out. Yeah. Well, they're like kind of tweaking about the seating and talking about assigned seating. My ass. Yeah. yeah. It was a little. It was a little. It was a little. A little too much for the situation. As people get off, it it goes so. They're they're pretty strict at the beginning, but like, it was. It's but, Amtrak is great. I yeah, don't, it's I don't fucking understand. fantastic. I don't understand why people it's are like, best. oh, you took the train. It's like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, it, it was 80 it was bucks. Awesome. <laughs> I had a full reclined seat, a tray in front of me. I was drinking booze that wasn't $100. Right. I had what I could have bought a sandwich. I didn't because we were overnight. Did, but we went to the, we still went to the cart though. And we saw the like, it was like, we a got a bagel. Awesome, yeah. It's great. Yo, the going to the really was crazy. The food cart's horrible. Like, there's objectively, there's good. nothing good that you can eat there. Right. But it's cool that it's there. But that was specifically the, the way it deficit. ends. Mm-hmm. But you have to, like, walk over to the end, and it just has, like, one way in, no way out type. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because they're separating the classes on the train, because you can't go. That's you true. Can, you can't go the other direction because that's where the sleeper cars are. Yeah. And they have their own dining car, and it's much nicer. Yeah. But, yeah, the layout was weird. He was on the side on the New York train, how I remember yeah. it, where it was like up. You know what I mean? He was yeah. on the he was going long ways yeah, instead yeah. of short ways. <laughs> but, yeah, not ideal for forming a line. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And he was just looking into my soul. He's like, these guys are a fucking mess. I was going to say, <laughs> I mean, like, after taking, like, I, how, how many order. Yeah, how many edibles is that? I was at, I was 100 milli deep. Um, I think I might have ended up taking four. And when we went down there, the guy could see it in our in our eyeballs. I was also like, drunk as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we split a pint of rum and all of it was gone. By the time I was down there, mine was all gone at least. Oh, for sure. I didn't finish mine until Sunday. I had to get <laughs> <laughs> till the train ride home. Well, I had to get a corona just to celebrate the occasion. It's like how often do you get to buy something from the bar cart? <laughs> yeah. Not very often. Not often enough, I should say. That's true. Yeah, yeah. They should offer that service on CTA lines. This yeah. is we're not being paid by Amtrak to say this. Well, we here's just the love thing. Amtrak. This is what's great specifically for the listeners about taking the Amtrak from Chicago to Memphis. It departs at eight PM. No problem. Everybody can make that for the most part. You know what I mean? If you work a late shift normally, yeah. you switch your shift. You can still work that day. It's not very good sleep. And then, oh, I slept like a baby. I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? I had so much edibles. <laughs> I was in a haze. I slept like a baby. This was a much easier uh, ride than it was to New York. I felt like, yeah, the sleeping was easier. It, it's well, so, yes, this is the reason why. The train was eight hours. So we get on at 8 p.m. We were there early also, which is insane. We were there at 530 in the morning. Oh. That's just the amount of time it takes to sleep. It was great. Yeah, I was up enough to get high and drunk, and we tried to play tic tac toe, <laughs> and then Justice is like, "Let's play Hangman." And okay, he says, "Let's play Hangman." A mere minutes after they announce the menu for the dining car, <laughs> and then he puts his Hangman clue as what I'm gonna get from the dining car, and it only could have been one thing. So I just looked at it and got it right. It was turkey <laughs> sub. <laughs> There was nothing else it could have been. The menu had six <laughs> things on it, none of which had those letters. It was so terrible. And I was so shocked by it that I then tried to come up with one and couldn't. I couldn't come up with anything at all. Not with any category of any kind. I couldn't think of a category or a word. And we stopped playing. We went back to tic tac toe. It, just, it, it literally stole your joy. It just stopped you in your track. Well, yeah, we were just too high already. It kicked in quick. I was gonna say it happened pretty fast. Yeah, and then also for the ride back, same thing. You leave at eleven p.m. You get here at nine a.m. I slept it, the whole the, way. The way home worked out very. See, nicely. New York's fucked up because it's eighteen hours. So you're gonna kill eight hours of it, like I just said. That's but then so you got long. another twelve. Yeah. And the way there wasn't bad, same thing, because you start overnight, but then you wake up and you're on it for another <laughs> 10 hours. It's a lot. That's a lot. That's why when I did that solo, that was pretty rough, I got to say. But also great. It was COVID times. 
Nobody could sit next to anybody. So I had a double seater, slept sideways. Well, That's the seats nice. on the way back, having that extra leg room, that was nice, too. Oh, yeah, we had the front seats. That was great. Yeah, you guys line right up. You're like, yo, this is great. <laughs> well, no, well, last, the, on the, the way back from New York, we face. almost got stuck with those same seats, but with no window. There's so that no was, window on So it. that was very, very, like, We were like, off-putting. this is going to be insane. You're and just, just like, also, staring at the wall. You're just yeah. like, yeah, it's really, cr- it's really, cr- it was like, no window on the side, no window on the front. You're just, like, staring at the the paneling the beige oh god and there wasn't like an extended leg room thing like that either Mm -hmm. that's the thing there was no perks about it it was a shitty shitty thing (laughs) we had we had to move and we got out of it after one stop i think we were on the train for like an hour like that oh cool and then a bunch of people got off but dude memphis train station at 5 a.m is a place yeah, like getting. The, I felt that's, it was crazy. That's exactly what I would expect that to look like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I will say the it, worst people you could imagine. <laughs> the, uh, Deformities, was, drug addictions, uh, just nothing better to do. You name it. There was a lot of different people at the bus station. Train. In oh, the bus station as well. Well, that was even <clears throat> more expected. We got to the. Bu- oh, the. Tr- you said the train station. In Memphis, I kind of I thought that the bus station was more whack. Yeah, for do you, sure. Do you remember, it's a, well, it's bus, a bus station, terminal. Yeah, it and was, it was outside of downtown. We had to like, walk I think it was a dollar though. It was awesome. It was a dollar. It was so cool. Well, that's because like a terrible transit system. It's just like a, that. That seemed like a terrible thing to have to do all the time. Yeah. No, no disrespect to Memphis. I mean, I but, don't think you don't yeah. have to go to the terminal though. You know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. How often do you visit the terminal in Chicago? I don't visit it often. Isn't it in like what our bus terminal? Yeah, yeah. Why would I ever need to do that? I don't know. Don't people hang out there though? Where no. to? Well, who's hanging? I mean, I don't I even mean, know yes. what buses go to that terminal. <laughs> what? What? Term- You're talking about the one right by Union Station? That's for like Greyhound and CTA. No, there's another one that's closer, but it's. Not important, right? Jefferson now. Park, you mean? I think so. Yeah. Well, we, we have some larger bus terminals. Th- there's the only reason oh. to go there is if you need to take a pace bus outward. There's right. no reason for me to go Rosemont. there to connect to another. Bus. Or you got to shoot some nine balls. That's the same type of thing as Jeff Park. Yeah, those are yeah. transit centers to go outward. That's that was the equivalent of what I'm talking about in Memphis, and it was pretty crazy. There was all different kinds of people there. Well, it was 6:30 a.m. Much people had to get to work. <laughs> Christ, I'm so hoarse. Yeah, it's from yelling all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it's going great. Those damn blues clubs. We had to take four days off before recording this because we were all so hoarse. <laughs> Dude, I just stopped shitting. <laughs> all the barbecue. All we did was eat the whole well, time. Yeah, I because I deleted all the things off of the Google list, I can't really go back. So the only way to recount is Is to memory? Yeah. Like... Yeah, what's the point of going if you don't remember? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just just being there Not in the moment. I don't think. Justice is a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> is what he's saying. True. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had about 25 places on a list. About 21 of them were restaurants. Let me say this about Memphis. It's known as like a barbecue destination city. And what I'll say is they have barbecue. They should go to Kansas City. Like they have <laughs> it. Yeah. Very accessible all over. Yeah. They have it. <laughs> it's bar- it's barbecue. So Memphis barbecue is like a like a five barbecues out of 10. 6. Okay. I could I could say six. like 6. Central was like, six. Central was an 8. I like, and I Central think the barbecue. reason my theory that bartender well, was mean. Well, that was a shitty bar, and that's why we you don't pick things that go on the list. <laughs> <laughs> the burger was really good, though. It was, it was unique. It wasn't worth going there. Uh, that was bar was like crazy. You know that bar was crazy. That bar was crazy. It was horrible. It was a horrible. That was bar. a dark place, but I mean, like, I'm happy we 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 survived it. We lived through it. It was. <laughs> You know, but again, that bar was we were in Memphis. That bar was in the bayou. <laughs> it was horrific. Anyway, well, the people frequenting it, too. Is just that's like, what, what I'm are saying. you doing here? And what we're all like, here? hey, Gerald, you want a glass of Chardonnay? She's like, yeah. 
<laughs> Me and Billy going down to the riverboat. It's like, where are we right now? What happened? I like the voices. <laughs> <laughs> the accents the accents were, were fun. Yeah. Thick. They were thick. At that bar specifically. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. The bartender was a woman. She sounded like Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> she was gonna get drafted yeah you put a blindfold over me i think i'm in kansas city for different reasons uh yeah i mean i think that's why sh- that bitch <laughs> was shitting on central barbecue because central barbecue tastes like good barbecue and not like memphis barbecue what's with the vi- it's just like vinegary and the why is the sauce so like light colored? Not that that affects what it tastes like, but it did, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it's off. Not as it's dark or charred. No, and like I mean that first place, or was it the first? I don't know. Rendezvous. The ribs had no meat yeah. on the bones. Yeah, yeah, that's very Horrific. true. Horrific. You can get ribs like that anywhere. You can go to Applebee's and get ribs as good as that that's place. That's fucking true, right there. Pertillo's got meatier ribs than that, bro. Portillo's definitely has meteor ribs in that. They got some dank fucking ribs. Yeah, Portillo's ribs rip. They're yeah, true. This did not. Rendezvous barbecue did not. The rest of it was fine. Their nachos were decent. The rest of it was all. But good. but I agreed when you said it, <clears throat> you you know we just not necessarily a, a revi- necessarily have to revisit type of spot. Not for the food at least, but also I don't really know what else. I think we did pretty much everything. Yeah, we got some pictures. I would love to go back to Kansas City though, but that's another yes. topic for another. Yes, I, I want to go back for the food and for the barbecue in Kansas. We gotta Kansas really City now. go for all of it. Yeah, so we just keep same, going back to Joe's every time. The same capacity as Memphis. We we should do, but Kansas it's also City. yeah, and there's oh, that would be better in God. my in my honest opinion. It would be so much better. Yeah, I don't no know. No shit, Kansas City's better. <laughs> I love that place, and. We went out of the way back from Colorado to go through Kansas City just to stop at Joe's one time. We stopped at Joe's and then we got back. I got home at six in the morning. We went three hours out of the way or something to go to Kansas City. And it was worth it. I would do it again. That shit's unbelievable. Now, anyway, back to Memphis. I was about to say, so where we're at? Finally getting a car at the airport? Yeah. Well, okay. So we get to the Damn, train station. We're not even. Say, is that even? Is that even yet. noon yet? <laughs> we get to the train station. It's five thirty a.m. We have to walk like a mile and a half north to catch the bus to the airport that only departs every two hours, <laughs> which is crazy. Because what if you need to go to the airport? That's the only way you can get there via public transportation. So we walk all through downtown, which was sprawling and wonderful and great. Loved seeing it. A little sketchy in the dark, but not really. There was just like a couple crackheads screaming. They weren't. They were harmless. They're harmless. That's the thing. It's like over there. It's like the energy's pretty. It, it's there. There is a such thing as southern hospitality. Yeah. There. What's up, baby? You know, <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> it's uh, sweet. Yeah. And so we're walking through downtown as the sun comes up. It's all very nice. And then downtown kind of fades away, and then it gets into, like, Memphis slums. Memphis is, like, downtown's real nice, and then it's pretty much all slummy, which is charming. You know, there's a couple white parts that look like Schomburg, but not many that we saw. We were in the mud on purpose. Shout out. Anyway, (laughs) so we get to the bus station, see all these other crackheads and lunatics, and then a few people that needed to go to work mostly it was like a swap meet over there there were so many people and also i gotta say shout out to the south tobacco's still king you know what i mean i was the only motherfucker with one of these pussy little pens looking like a bitch everybody else was smoking like winston's (laughs) gritty healthy cigar smoke yeah the real shit a lot of black and milds also. But oh, I knew that smell. It smells good. I don't mind them. The you know? high school janitor, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure plenty of them were. Uh, <laughs> so we get on the bus. We go to the airport. Justice gets off the bus. <laughs> Dude, that, that was one of the more alarming moments immediately in the trip. So She the, didn't have to let you back on. There's only like four stops on this bus. Because it's going like out to the burbs. It's like 30 minutes outside of where the terminal is. There's like four stops. 
We get to the third of four stops. It's very clearly not an airport. I don't know what it is, to be fair. It, I ended up seeing on the way out it was a Greyhound bus terminal, which looks nothing like an airport in any it capacity. It looks like a bus stop. There's no types of signage that resemble an airport. Uh, there's no control tower, radar, fences, <laughs> planes. Some of the things that you might find at an airport. People, anything. <laughs> there's nothing there. Justice is like, guys, this is it. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Multiple people have stayed on the bus, which I was also high and it was early and I was like, oh, maybe this <laughs> is it. But people stayed on. So I was like, all right, I'm not even going to worry about it. Justice picks up all his shit in a rush, gets off the bus, turns around to face us to see, like, oh, everybody's coming. The door closes on him, and he panics, runs to the front before she drives off, and she lets him back on. I thought she was going to leave you. I thought she was going to leave you. I wish she would have pulled off in a frenzy. It would have been so good. See you in two hours. Yeah, we would have made you catch the next bus. <laughs> Even though, oh, also for context, we're going to the airport to get a rental car. We did not. I didn't mention that explicitly, because uh, otherwise that makes no sense. You know, take the train and then get on a bus to the airport. Well, that's the thing about our trips. Like, they're, we're always on a quest. Yeah, a mission had to be made. Yeah, you know, you make a day of it. Yeah, well, you wanted to. I wanted to make it an hour, Max. Uh, <laughs> That's so all we needed him, to do. She lets him back on, and he <laughs> and he comes back, and he's like, dude, I think this is the airport. And I'm like, ask her, man. <laughs> like, why are you freaking out to me right now? I was like, if we're at the airport, then I great. Trip's over. Hope you're right. He goes up to her, and he's like, is this the airport? And she's like, what? <laughs> no, like, because, like, of course it's not the airport. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, this is the airport? <laughs> and she's Alarming. Like, she's like, I'm going there. He's like, wait, so this isn't the airport. And she's like, I'm about to go there. Like, she thinks that he's like, hey, bitch. <laughs> Can we get to the fucking airport already? Because he's so stupid that he has to be that much of an asshole. Like, she had no idea that he was just that stupid in the moment. And that was priceless. I laughed until we got to the airport. It was like another 10 minutes. My stomach hurt. So the trip was off to a great start. (laughs) It's like 10.30 a.m. at this point. If not no, even, not even. It's like eight thirty. Oh no, that's, that was like the pro yeah. shop, right? Yeah, because the bus came at like seven twenty. It was it was yeah. like eight fifteen. Yeah. yeah, insane. The, we, yeah, a lot had happened already. Then we picked the car up. Then we did walk. We got the house. wide body. Well, what was? Yeah, we pulled down. We walked down to where the thing is, and the lady immediately, she's like, let me see your reservation. She's like, we don't have it. Y'all getting an upgrade. (laughs) Like, on site, she did no confirmation of any kind. And then she's like, here comes somebody right now. That was the best kind of surprise. (laughs) Some dude just pulls up in a car. She's like, he just came from the car wash. Don't worry. Like, you could definitely take this. She was almost like, yeah, this guy just stole this car. You guys want it? They never turned it off. Yeah, they just gave us the keys and just said, you're good. It was the whole time we saw it in and out real quick it was a big old ford suv real nice what were we supposed to have a smaller suv okay yeah ford edge i wanted suv for the i like it for the vision yeah oh you got a lot of vision in that bitch oh yeah too much it was too big it was very (laughs) wide wide. yeah It, it was like if a crown vic was an suv I used to have one. It was a nightmare. Yeah, that's in true, In any though. tight traffic situation or parking of any kind, that it was kinda horrible. That kind of feels like that, because Crown Vicks are kind of boaty. Kind of boaty? <laughs> the Crown Vic is bigger than that SUV that we had. That's true. You know, like, it's very boaty. Oh, I remember where we were at, at like, 1030. Was that, like, the casino? No. Or was that... So, didn't we get the car and go straight to Mississippi? To Waffle oh, House. Oh, you're right, you're right. I'm jumping ahead. I'm getting ahead. So of we pull into a Waffle House, the f- closest one to the airport. Dude. It's in Mississippi. <laughs> There's tape 
like caution tape that was so crazy that was like a crime the restaurant scene. because all of them are filled with stack tables there are two people working in this restaurant one of them's just on the phone the other one's maybe cooking something there's four people in line three people come in and out immediately because they see it and they know what's going on and we didn't did. really pick yeah. it up no, we were waiting to see what, what was really going but it, on. But yeah, think. nothing uh, was going on was the problem. Yeah, and then we, we were just like, didn't know. Yeah, and then the, the, there was two additional Waffle Houses each within five minutes of that one. So we're just like, fuck it, on to the next. There was a That's, dozen people working at that one, right? And it was humming and beautiful and always a treat. Love Waffle House. Yeah, never can go wrong. Ricky's first time. Well, I was going to say, you could definitely go wrong if you go to the first one. I'm glad that was not our first time. <laughs> well, that's how you can go wrong. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. the location, but yeah. The second one was almost like a Denny's. It was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, don't. That's disrespectful to Waffle House. Do you not like Fuck Denny's? Denny's? Denny's is disgusting. Where are we at on IHOP? It's fine in a pinch. Yeah. They're what's like it, the, what's the other one? Then? Like if oh, you're in... Nugget. You have Golden Nuggets. Well, that's a Chicago chain. That's, There's like six of them. That's <laughs> and true. it's incredible in comparison. I've I've only been once, I think. Oh, I go at pretty much every week. Wow. <laughs> it's awesome. That's a treat. Yeah. I love that. But I want pancakes from Golden Nugget right now. They're closed. This one is anyway. Don't disrespect Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck <you> Denny's. <clears throat> and then we booked it back into Tennessee, hit the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid, former basketball stadium that is a pyramid, converted into a Bass Pro Shop. One of the most southern things possible. That's ins- it's ins- that story was crazy, though. They told you on the elevator when it was just like, if I catch a, a 30-pound bass. We behind the pyramid. <laughs> we're, building a, we're building a Bass Pro Shop in here. Sure then enough. Of course, he knew it. He knew he was going to go catch that bitch. He's a bass pro. But that's so crazy. That's so crazy where you're just like, you know what? That's just like a, a, a coin toss. Like, maybe I'll build a bass pro shop. <laughs> maybe something way more crucial could be here. But that's, I mean, I get it. That's essential. <laughs> they had an hey. indoor firing range for both archery and guns. So, I mean, wall burgers. I, a wall burgers plus a bar and grill on the roof deck. It was nice too. It, it was really nice. nice. If we didn't already have 150 restaurants to That's go to. That's the thing is we couldn't even stop to enjoy like the local just like that that found those yeah. found gems, you know the what I mean? The found gems like, had no We were goal. on a tight schedule, yeah. Yeah. But it was cool. The Wahlburgers wild. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't know why it's called that. We should have looked at the menu to see if it was different. They got game probably. <laughs> They're serving gator on a bun, you know what I mean? That'd I be would lit. Imagine such but the pro shop was cool. Mud Island was cool. Little Peninsula Park with weirdly a bunch of sculptures of rivers. That was kind of cool. Walking, I mean, walking through the Mississippi. It was cool, but like, why? It did seem like also also uh, pretty inconvenient for any type of non foot traffic. Because it also was eventually like this is the basin in Utah. Like you know what I mean? Like the Mississippi part made sense. We were along it. Right. But eventually they're just like, here's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's like, I mean, this is all cool. I mean, I'm sure that if I had read any of the signs, maybe I would have found out. But it was cool. And then we hit due west to Arkansas. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A tri state trip. Bro, <laughs> did we really go there like right after Waffle? Yeah. Yeah, it went yeah. Waffle House, Bass that's Pro so Shop, crazy. Casino, Bass see, Pro that's, Shop. That's, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how my timeline's messed up. I'm just like, it It all happened so fast. We should have just went back a third time to to do the range there. To shoot to on Bass the Pro Shop. You couldn't shoot a gun. I could try. You're too much of a sissy. I could try. Nah. Just get a 22, just a little pea shooter. Just see, fire off some fireworks. Thing. Nah. That does the job. Nah. Yeah. You couldn't shoot a Red Ryder BB gun. <laughs> you don't know shit about my <laughs> shooting experience. You don't have any. I know that. I got enough. <laughs> so we got cleaned out at the casino. There's not really a story there. Oh, my God. That place sucked balls. That was so- I was up 20 for one, for a minute. <sighs> it was pretty sick, but I spent it all right away. Yeah. we waste. That was a waste of time. 
<laughs> it was dude, not us, fun at us all. ten bucks just trying to figure out how this thing work, how the games work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's what happened to me on acid at the casino one time. I'm pretty sure I just walked away from a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> like I put money in, hit a button, and there was like a continue, and I just left. I was like, oh, I lost. <laughs> I think I left a ton of money in a but not a, you know what I mean, like five bucks at a time maybe, but okay. Pretty sure I left money in machines or at least like plays, like I'd cash out the ticket. Yeah. But there was still like spins left. Yeah. Shit like that. It's hard being on acid at a casino. I would imagine such. There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. But I wish I was at that one. That place happening. sucked. It was just dead. It, it it wasn't fun. There was no excitement in the air. It was just lame. Gamblers. It was like being in a Walmart filled with casinos or slot machines. Yeah, or a Sam's Club. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> same, same, same crowd, yeah. <laughs> so then we drove back to Mississippi down the street from the Waffle House, got Whataburger, which was pretty good. No it, complaints. Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I Didn't mean, I was a fan of it. Uh, they had a Dr. Pepper shake. It was pretty fire. Yeah, you sucked that down. <laughs> you like slurping? Yeah, it was re- actually. Good. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was, <laughs> it was the most But I mean, as, fu- as far as like Whataburger goes, could easily never go back. Yeah. Just wanted to try it, you know? Yeah. It was fine. Better than Burger King. <laughs> Where do you rate Burger King on a scale of three Wahlburgers being... Well, Wahlburgers isn't good. So if Wahlburgers is a three, what is Burger King? A three. Oh. They're the equivalently bad. Well, they're different things. Like, Wahlburgers wants to be Shake Shack, but it's just not very good. And Burger King wants to be McDonald's, but it's not very good. You know? Like, they're the equivalent in a different tier of restaurant. Yeah, that makes sense. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wahlburgers is not good. Sorry, Mark. Tell Donnie to step his shit up. Anyway, what happened next? I think that's when we started drinking, and it's all just a mess. And then all we did was get drunk and eat and get drunk and eat. And I think that's it. There's not a lot to be said for the rest of that day, right? I mean, I was about to say, like, I don't even remember when we got into the hotel room, necessarily. I don't know. Yeah, leaving where, going to where, I have no idea. It's, yeah, I mean, once we started getting to it, I mean, I think we 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 went out to Beale Street first night, right? Yeah. Yeah, we made it about an Rendezvous. hour and a half on yeah. Beale Street. Yeah. Because we bought well, we a bottle donuts, of liquor. And well, I we think got... everybody, everybody was supposed to buy a round, and that... But we bought really quickly. But we bought a bottle first. That's right. the problem. Well, Justice bought a very botanical spirit for us. Yeah, but like you just can't. You can't go all by rounds and pregame. That's it's like if you're gonna pregame, tried. people don't need to buy rounds. Now look, it could work, but it didn't. Is my point. <laughs> so that's what retroactively, it was a mistake. So then the next day we, we had- tapped out by like 11 p.m. at best. That's true. We went to Coyote Ugly, which was embarrassing. It's a sad sight. Well, that, well that's what I was going to say. I feel like, I mean, we, we tried. It's just like the, there wasn't anything to really uh Yeah, that keep was, it this was a fucking rolling. train wreck. Well, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, every, bu- every bar was dead, and we just kept pounding. That should have been the sign to be like, let's slow up and come back later. No way, dude. We were shining. And that's why yeah, it man. was just weird. No, we went into Jerry Lawler's bar. There was six people in there. That was a historical moment though. They had li- a live band. <laughs> Every <laughs> bar. local <laughs> artisan. That's how Memphis works and that band sucked. <laughs> a bunch of places had live bands and none of them were very that good. Jerry sounding. Lawler band specifically. That sucked. one was the worst one. <laughs> yeah, it was really No, bad. he was feeling it. And it's I way know. <laughs> way louder in person. And they played the song out like their set was over, and then they started a new song, and I was like, <laughs> I'm leaving. They were performing all night. You know that that's, those, they got time. That's a three-hour set for sure. Yeah. And uh, hated it. I hated that place. <laughs> who's, who's, who's next, right? Like, how do you follow that up? <laughs> Close it. Close the bar down. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Well, when you looked it up, when I looked it up on, on Google, it said it was permanently closed. Right. So that was <laughs> that was an interesting discovery. I mean, effectively, it was. What? They, made, they make about $100 a day there, maybe. 
<laughs> I mean, that place was a goat. That was as empty as any place on the thing. But then we roll into Coyote Ugly, and there's like six people in there, but the music is bumping full club level. We're four of them. Like, <laughs> why, I just don't get why they don't understand that, like, if it's empty, it doesn't need to be loud. R- right. Like, there's not a lot of people in here. It's dead tonight. Turn it down. They were working hard. <laughs> Let me hang out. Instead, they're like, yo, like there's like hype dudes that are also like security. So, you don't start groping broads. And then there's broads that are just like dancing to this too loud of music to no fanfare because there's nobody in there. There's nobody in there. That was that was the most jarring thing. It was almost like walking to like a strip club at Grand Theft Auto. You know what I mean? It's just like it's just the the motion is kind of moving around. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's very poignant. But there's also like arcade games in the back, and it was just everything was just wrong about it. I don't that remember the sucked. arcade games, but the, um, there was definitely. No, like I know what you mean. Papa they had, shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? They, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would have been fun. It would have if the but it was. They just, had like a shot girl I walking was so around. Like jarred by the experience. I didn't know I didn't if those were free, so I said no. No, no, they were definitely not free. Right. They were. They were, they not were like free. twenty-two dollars, yeah. bro. No, that's the body shots, oh. you horny bastard. <laughs> there was a girl walking around with Jello shots. Oh no, that was for the body shot, right? No. no. Oh. Yeah, she had a tray of them. To twenty body know. shots, ready to go for four dudes. <laughs> and how do, how would a body shot work with Jello? I don't know. Dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? It all is just like. A but lot. no, the worst thing about it is that since it's dead, every but the security people and the girls are just like, give them money, like buy something, <laughs> and it's like. N- no, <laughs> this is a bar. Can I buy a drink? We said four Jack and Cokes, please. Yeah. And it's like, well, those were our drinks. Like, we are now customers. So, like, stop with the sales pitch. You know? Right. I don't know if they wanted you to, like, tip them for just, like, twerking near you or something, but I'm not interested. It's like, I'm going to hurt my neck. You're six feet tall. This bar's already taller than me. I didn't even look. You know what I mean? It was dumb. I could understand how that would be interesting if, like, the bar were full and you're, like, in the back or whatever, and it's like, oh, she's standing on the bar. Right. But it's like, get off the bar, bitch. There's six (laughs) people in here, you know? Like, let's just hang out. Like, you have a chill day at work today. No, they won't let it. That's true. true. I I was embarrassed for everybody in that place, including the other patrons, because those guys were broed out. Those guys were on more than just a couple of beverages, but it looks like they were they were locals who love going there. On yeah, they nights. could tell we were not Memphis guys, and they were just like, they're all getting body shots. Get them. Get them. And we're like, no. <laughs> like, we're not interested, and you're not hyping us up. You're just screaming like everybody else in here. One, one of the guys, <laughs> I think, got one for his boy. He started recording them, and it was just a very interesting experience to watch. Like, yeah. Just just watching like that kind of horniness like like in in, the, in another man's body is like crazy. I don't know why they all. It was crazy. Those. They were just like, I mean, he was I, leaving a seat. I guess I get it because eventually people are gonna be blacked out in there, and they'll just give you twenty bucks for that, and that's right. an easy way to make a lot of money. But right. like, I wouldn't want to give those out. Also, but like, imagine being that guy. You know how sad that is. Like that would have been awesome when I was like twenty one. Those guys were older than us by a significant margin. Well, that, that, <laughs> that's like, that's why that was super cool. It's like, well, that's nah. what I was saying. Like those guys love going. That's like that's a frequent spot for them. That's oh yeah, like, they were stoked to be the only guys in there. Right. Which was atrocious. Anyway, everything was empty. We went back <laughs> to the hotel, went to sleep. I was very hungover the next day. That's when the next thing happened with the brunch that took forever. That's true. We already did already talk about it for a little so bit. So we're all caught up. But the that liquor little store. I will I will say in between all that, that little coffee shop skate park, that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's that a was cool super sick. concept. Yeah. Society. I think it was a, it was like a sweet spot. Yeah. I went back there for several hours. It was, it was cool because the coffee shop itself was actually legit. 
Yeah. Oh, it was great. I was coffee. worried it was it was either going to be too much of one or the other. It was plenty of both. So right. that was cool. They were not trying very hard and doing a great job. It seemed like, to be honest, for the coffee at least. Why it was pretty good. I know. That's I mean that's just like good coffee. It just like they were so very relaxed mean, about trying. it. It was. It's just they were just good at it. I think. They were good. They're good at making their coffee. What did you get to drink there? I didn't even see cold coffee. Didn't we get any cold brew? I got a dirty chai. Yum. I got a straight up black coffee. It was pretty good. It was good. Like it was like not very acidic. That's what I was mentioning. I was upset that I had a. I like threw it away before we went to the. The what is it called liquor store? Yeah. Yeah, and then I got coffee there. Well, not even by choice. I think the guy was just like. For sure, like you, you are also getting coffee. So I was like, whatever. Wait, That's so fine. um what did you guys do in between though? Walk, we just walked around. Area. We just like walked around. We just like walked up the street. I don't know, just like riffs yeah. of blinkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where like the arts district was and there was like two stores. Oh. <laughs> there okay. was nothing there. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, and then, and then we they called back. us. Yeah, yeah, so it was like pretty Shit. good. That was also why I got a dirty chai, because I was gonna get fucking coffee with breakfast. And you know how long it took me to even just get a cup of coffee. And then you know how long it took me to get a refill on that coffee? Even longer. We're sitting at the bar, buddy. Like, give me more coffee. I fucked that place. I was upset. <laughs> I was too hungover to deal with that kind of wait time. I'm already impatient enough as it is. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a that t- shit was there was twenty seats in that restaurant. That this the it was slow and I I don't remember I wasn't that hungover, I don't think, as you, that's for sure. Definitely not. I was rough. Yeah, I wasn't even really paying attention. I got the breakfast shot. It was just like that's why you weren't paying attention. <laughs> he, he was like, oh, "I'm mismeasured," uh, and just gave me a bunch. He of gave you th- juice and a bunch of shots. He gave you three fingers worth of whiskey. It was a lot. Yeah. He g- yeah, he gave you a glass of whiskey. It's supposed to be a shot of whiskey, and they put it in a whiskey glass, and they just gave Justice a glass of whiskey. That's true. And he still downed it in one shot, like a <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> yeah, it was a wide glass too. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Came with bacon though. That was pretty cool. Which was ready in time for the fucking drink. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. You said what part took long? The 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 egg. You know what I mean? I don't know the burger. It doesn't. I think think they fucked the burger. No, he he said that it was the last one. Right? Like he's like, we're still we're just waiting on the burger. But then after saying that, still didn't serve you guys. Yeah. Took about five more minutes. Then just served you guys, and I was like, oh, the burger must be done. That's why he just said we're waiting on it. Now he's serving everybody. That's what logic would dictate. And then I just didn't eat for 10 more minutes. (laughs) They brought me a stack of pancakes that I ordered. Yeah. Those pancakes are fire. They were not that good. I thought they were pretty good. That's because you like shitty pancakes. (laughs) Their biscuits and gravy was pretty good. They used like some type of mushroom sauce. It was fine. Anyway, I had a great I had a great meal there. Yeah, the meal was it would have been better if it was timely. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. You can't so, mess around with them diner burgers like that. No, nah, you really can't. That's silly. It's silly that it took that long. Yeah, <laughs> it's a burger. I yeah that too. It's like, a burger, and you guys have a itself. flat top grill that's on all day. <laughs> like it doesn't make any right. sense. There's just no explanation. <laughs> Anyway, then, then we did the museum. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, the Memphis really Memphis a, Brooks, right? I don't really have any stories from that though. Am I wrong? It was cool. It's in Overton Park. I don't know exactly what it is. It's by the Memphis Zoo too. Yep, it was a great time. Yeah, the Memphis Brooks Museum of Art. Great, beautiful art. <laughs> Riveting stuff, as always, Justice. Thank you. <laughs> and then we did the barbecue shop. That's where that guy called you a faggot. <laughs> so, Justice. That was a crazy mix, yeah. Okay, this place, the ribs were as tender and succulent as any ribs I've ever had, but still, the sauce is an issue. They, you know. Oh, we got barbecue spaghetti. 
Yeah, that's like their signature dish. Apparently, that's Insanity. a Memphis thing. It was pretty good, and it was good on the Texas toast as advertised. It was greasy. If I went back, I would just get a barbecue spaghetti sandwich from there Agreed. and like some sides. The sides were slapping all over the side. I like their brisket. I like that it was chopped up. I messed yes. with that. But. Yeah, the brisket was pretty good. The brisket was pretty good at every place. But that's fair. That's brisket. The pork was so so everywhere, and the ribs were. No, the pork is just hit or miss. It seems like yeah, in pretty general. much yeah. That's why their their rating is so low. It's because of the hit or miss on the pork ribs. Yeah, but and everything is pork ribs. That's what's weird. They they're better at beef down there. Yeah, but everything's pork. Like everybody's like, get the ribs. It's all baby back. It doesn't make any sense. <coughs> anyway, yeah, the barbecue shop. So Justice gets a little Barbie on his pink sweater. <laughs> That's barbecue. This is where sauce. it all really started going downhill. And he's like, "Excuse me, sir." <laughs> <laughs> is that me? Yeah, isn't that for accurate? sure? <laughs> no. Oh, see, <laughs> that's what you sound like right now. Excuse me, sir. Can I have some cup soda? And he's like. Yeah, I guess <laughs> you know, fucking amateur hour over here, buddy. Spilling barbecue sauce. Eat over. Well, he table. told him too. He said, "I spilled some on myself." Yeah. <laughs> uh, guy brings it back. Immediately gives us the checks. He's like, "No longer friendly." He's like, "Get out!" Right after he brings justice, the sparkling water. Okay, we pay our checks. Roll out. Justice first went out the door. He has. He put <laughs> so much sparkling or whatever it's called. He was about to dip his whole sweater into in, it, into cup. the cup. I yeah. did. I did. There was. <laughs> well, no, you put a bunch in your mouth, gargled it, and then spit it all over your. That head. was really crazy. It did start to get okay. That's yeah. We, it did start to get a little. It crazy. got disgusting pretty quick, and you had like a six-inch puddle for like a <laughs> millimeter stain, <laughs> so it kind of defeated the purpose. The stain did not show, so I will say the club soda did work. Anyway, Justice, Fucking, yeah, bro. <laughs> Justice is the first. I told you to get it. You were trying to lick it off of your sweater and think it was going to be fine. So I'm going to suck it out. Fun. It's not how that works. Anyway, Justice storms out of the building. I'm out last. I was the last one in the back booth. <laughs> the waiter comes up to me. He kind of like brushes my, like, you know, doesn't brush my arm. But you know what I mean? Or somebody like, not a tap on the shoulder, but like almost a forearm grab. Yeah, he just like stopped us from leaving. Like a hold up, you know? For sure. And I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, hey, you know your buddy in the pink sweater? I don't know if he said pink sweater, but you know what I mean? He's like, you know your buddy? I think he, I think he, did, I think he just, yeah. He like said pur- with purple, yeah. whatever, hoodie. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, what's good? He's like, can you let him know he's a faggot? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, what? He's like, yeah, can you just tell him? And I'm like, sure, man. <laughs> and I got out of there and I let you know. Yeah, I mean, I was confused at first. And then I, I, was, I, was, I was like, well, I, 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 I thought we forgot to pay or something. Laughter. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. But I, yeah, I thought he was like, hey, that guy fucking shit on the seat. Or yeah, something. I thought like, I didn't, I like thought maybe you bo- shit your pants or something. There was something yeah. left. You pissed your pants. I don't know. I thought we were in trouble. Yeah. But no, he just thought you were a faggot. He just wanted you to come back. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. It also didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? It totally didn't happen. I don't know. I remember it differently. That's what this keeps coming back to. And I'm not <laughs> sure if it happened or not. <laughs> You're I th- making me believe that it didn't happen. I think it happened. You're gonna spill your water. Well, as no. I was telling you, I I thought it. Ha- I thought I saw that. Uh, yeah, you yeah. know, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so it may or may not have happened, but it happened, but it didn't. It was it was the better of the barbecue. That's for sure. I think Central was the best. I think Central was the best, but I think that the barbecue shop was second. Yeah, well, it was really. Good. We only went to three barbecue places. Oh no, four, right? Rendezvous. I don't even remember that because that place was very underwhelming. Yes, nothing. To me, was that's going on the there. tourist one, right? Because it's in like the middle of downtown, two blocks from Beale. 
in the alley with all the lights. Like, it's the Instagram spot. I took a picture. Mm-hmm. But it was like, what is... It wasn't anything. It was just like... Same famous Dave's. Uh, yeah, best thing was like their nachos. You go to any famous Dave's, you have the same dinner, if not better. It was mm-hmm. brisket and cheese. Can't go wrong, you know. Be hard to be bad for that. Right. But those ribs were awful. That was for a place that's called a barbecue well, you restaurant. Just, you just like, sucking the sauce off the bone. Yeah, wait, I mean, they wait, literally took like. This? rendezvous okay. they literally took like discarded bones rubbed and sauced them there was nothing on there <laughs> disappointing it was, it was pretty wild uh so then we went back to the hotel oh well, we went to the stacks museum too didn't really go in that was in the hood that looked like stacks museum that looked like katrina you know what I mean? <laughs> that was like Jesus. Boarded up, baby. <laughs> Shit was not going well in that neighborhood. I all I was thinking was like, this is a good place to buy some property right here. <laughs> yeah. Could have bought that little hair salon that was four by four. It was a whole building. It was crazy. Um They had a photo of Aretha Franklin's birth home and the photo of it, it was boarded up and shitty. <laughs> it's like this is how you're showcasing it too. How about somebody fixes it up, maybe? So this was in its prime. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it looked like this the whole time. <laughs> Glass uh, is expensive. Then we got back to the hotel and your boy tapped out. I was done. I sat back, watched football, and went in and out of consciousness. <laughs> I eventually had to ice my head. Did that go well? Uh, no. I was still hung over the next day. <laughs> what was this day? Saturday? Is this Saturday? Yes, and I was still hung over on Sunday from Saturday. True. true. We did from all Friday, those. Effectively, we did all those. We did go to all those. That was pretty you, good. You were knocked out. That was pretty good. They had some good drinks. Charlie Hill is like Nutella beverage. I forget what I had. I had probably some type of margarita. But uh, yeah, their pizzas are good. We were trying to decide which was to get. We ended up getting like the Lombardi pizza or some shit like that. Was that the yeah. ricotta meatball? Yes, it was. Yeah. It was delicious. Yeah, it was. I knew it would be good. I knew it would be all good. those favorites. I did yeah. not know it would be good because why would pizza in Memphis be good? Well, no, yeah, that was the part I was hesitant about. But when I started seeing the pies coming out, I was like more optimistic. It was, and then that one in general just seemed like. Even if you were to not be that great of a pizza maker, like the toppings themselves are just, I feel like, lend themselves But the well. pizza itself was good. Crust it was. was solid. It was. Every, every it part was. of it was very good pizza. Agreed. I was impressed. And I had it cold at the hotel. After. Yeah, shout out. All those. It was great. We definitely didn't need to have that meal, though, because we had just been eating all day and drinking yep. all day. That was just like, that was just to have a destination. Yeah. Um, we, when we came back, we were just like, in the hotel lobby, Justice had to buy us another round from the night before. He still owes me a round. So <laughs> that was a good time. I gave we were, my oh, gin. we forgot about that part. When fucking Justice, <laughs> when we were all buying each other a round, and then when it was Justice's turn to buy the round, he bought discount beers uh, off the tap while we were all buying mixed drinks for each other, and he got us $4 beers. Spent like $70 at the hotel bar getting you a cocktail. And he said, no, this counts. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> you still owe me around. That's fair. Yeah, you bought the gin. I also bought the rum on the train. I didn't ask you for a dime, you selfish bastard. <laughs> yeah, so we were just in the hotel lobby I'm trying to shoot the right fights, now. But- yeah, and then, you know, more sightseeing. It's a recession. Sun Records, that was fine. That was the best places because they were the cheapest. <laughs> Everything was so cheap there. Yeah. Like, ultimately. We yeah. just ate a lot, so it added up. Yeah. Like, Gibson's Donuts, which you ate all of them also. <laughs> You're a fucking prick. It was, <laughs> this whole trip, it was, you were just it was a like giant a, asshole. <laughs> it was literally like a dollar a donut. <laughs> That place is great. Yeah, I thought he said the price. I thought he said sixteen dollars. I, I read it. The receipt. It was six bucks. What? Yeah, and you ate four of them. <sighs> we should. Before we got to the car, you had two. <laughs> I didn't, and I then didn't. we went to go eat fried chicken. Yeah, at Gus's we were, across the street. I was gonna say, which is not. Yeah, literally across the street. Not even like a block or anything away. Like we literally just had to cross the street. And you ate two donuts in that. <laughs> You brought them in. You said you think they mind if I bring in more donuts? Yeah. 
I was like, put him in the car. He won't put him in the car. Where's There's the car? Ten steps from the door. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where we got the jerk wings? Bro, that no, that was Central fire. Barbecue also. Oh, true. Central Barbecue yeah. ripped. We got That's like true. three orders from there. Yeah, I just kept ordering. I was just, it was, it was, it was crazy. Like I said, it was, I've never been so full and just still needed to continue on. Like I just, I wasn't done with the experience, but my body was still recovering from the day before. Meat is crazy. Yeah, meat can keep you going. Turn you into a monster like me. Heavy. Or a faggot. <laughs> Heavier. <laughs> Get off your phone. I'm looking at pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember what happened. Yeah. Well, catching the games at those spots was pretty fun. Yeah, like that having, was fun. I will say shout out to, what is it, Wiseacre Brewing Company, because they're yep. tiny beer. That was pretty much my fuel for the trip, so I highly recommend that. Yeah, that I was I hope good. to get some more. I messed with it. They had a beautiful, a beautiful brewery type set. Of Unbelievable! Room, it was so yeah, both. cool. Astonishing, but, frankly. Yeah, honestly, like uh, it's nicer than revolutions. Yeah, reviving. Sure. It was True. reviving like, after <laughs> after all that travel and and whatnot. Justice also. <laughs> yeah, we went to the National Civil Rights Museum. <laughs> oh, I forgot about <laughs> that part. I don't know, man. That was hot. That was that was a hot. So topic. first thing in the morning when we're walking. <laughs> Uptown to the bus station, we pass the Lorraine Motel, <laughs> which is also the site of the National Civil Rights Museum because Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated there. And we walked up to the motel because I wanted to go see it. And Justice goes, Who gives a fuck about this shitty motel? What are we doing here? Let's go to the bus station. The doctor's and then, last words. Then we went back to it on Sunday night because we had to cut across that way. Like it just worked out. And again, <laughs> he like forgot <laughs> and was shitting on it again. But that wasn't even what I was going to bring up. That was not how it went down. Exactly the first time down. or the second time? Because <laughs> the, the first time, time, that's how it went down. No, it did not. You were like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you were so upset that we stopped. <laughs> and it was half a block out of the way. Not even a full one. That's awful. You're awful. <laughs> and then... I'm like, all right, Justice, you're driving the car back to the airport. We just got to fill up before we bring it back. Oh, this is what you were just about to bring up? (laughs) Yeah. More bullshit, (laughs) fake cheapskate, where it's like not even a thing. You just want to make it seem like you have pennies to your (laughs) name. Justice is like, I put in 15 bucks. That'll be fine. Which also, we were going to split it. So it literally didn't matter what it cost to him initially. And he puts in 15 bucks. It doesn't fill it up. And I'm like, we got it full. We have to return it full. And he's like, nah, (laughs) it'll be fine, says the guy who doesn't know shit about anything. And then he brings it back. And within two hours, we're charged like an extra $15. Horse shit. Gas was $3 a gallon. You had it seven eighths full. Like, you're such a, a dick. <laughs> Just fill up the fucking gas tank. <laughs> it was almost a political statement at that point. Yeah, you were like trying to prove some point, And the point is, you got money. Because you're spending more than you want anyway. You know what you could have bought instead for that gas money? Me, a real drink. Got a $4 <laughs> discount beer. Car rental always wins. Always, they get you with that la- little last bit. They get you with that little last bit. Yeah. They've never gotten me with that. Because <laughs> you just return it how you got it. They're very clear about that. Before you book, while you're booking, after you book, after you pick up the car, it's everywhere. They're like, please, just, just, do, this they like, just do this one thing. They have a meter in the pamphlet they give you that they fill out. They're like, you picked it up this date, this time. There was this much gas in it. Which means return it with this much gas in it. And you said, they won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even look at that He stuff. said, I got them all figured out. I'm in their head. They don't even know it yet. He said, I sleep in their bed at night with their wife, and they don't know. <laughs> he thought he was pulling off the crime of the century, and it lasted about six minutes. It was like an hour. He said, they'll never find us. 
Was it six minutes from the gas station to returning it? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> it was. Uh, and then the train coming back was late, and I was tired. And then I think I fell asleep Dude, within three minutes of sitting down. That was yeah, that was exhausting. When like you after that coming station. home. No, the second we sat on the train. Oh, I will yeah. say shout out to Slider Inn for the Jameson smoothie <coughs> beverage. That was insane. That was a fun place. Slider Inn was pretty good. Also, that guy who was just really, really cheering on the Grizzlies. Yeah, well, the Grizzlies are good. So I respect that. I mean, I mean, I'm not hating on. It. I'm just saying, like he was, he was single handedly he, holding holding on that bar and getting people involved. Yeah, he was the only one there to watch the game for sure. Everybody else was just at the bar, and he's like, "Oh, we watching the Grizzlies." Today. He said, "Let's go, Grizz." <laughs> he put out a Facebook event, Grizzlies watch party at Slider Inn, and he's just the only one who showed up that he's aware of. It was sick. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a pretty cool spot. Yeah. Good name. The mix and match. You got to do the mix and match. I did. Dude, I got those little... Uh, basic but you did the mix and match and got shit that was <laughs> cheaper than the price of the burgers. <laughs> you got like $8 sandwiches <laughs> and it was a $15 mix and match. One of them match. was peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be no patty. It says no patty. Yeah, it, that's <laughs> no why patty. three of those, like I just said, was $8. Instead right. of fifteen, right? Why would there be a patty on it? I don't know. You should have loved it. You got as a mix and match. You should have told me. I would have given you one of my patties. I basically had full size hamburgers with with bacon bun. on it. Too. Oh yeah, you had Dude, double those slices. Were sick. Yeah. They were six inches tall. Those they were, were pretty cool. They were. Very, they were too cool. No, nah, it was good though. I still had a great time, even though it was just peanut butter and jelly. And wait, uh, wait, wait. You had with an egg. Did you have the the sh- what was it? Shrimp or crab one? It was a po' boy. How was it? It was just one big fried shrimp. Was it dank? Mm, it's fine. Oh, okay. That's not a po' boy. Yeah. A po' boy is literally multiple shrimp. Throw yeah. two on there. Yeah. Chop them up. Other than that, it's a kebab, you're saying. It was one shrimp on a roll. <laughs> it wasn't a po' boy. That's, That's all, really That's crazy. what I'm saying. Yeah. But I mean, it filled out the bread fine. There wasn't like bread mm-hmm. gaps. I'm just saying. They give him six inches of a sandwich. They can't throw two shrimp on there? Yeah. That makes sense. It's true. Uh, the other ones were fine. You know? Yeah. I, don't know. I got but, not- I, but I recommend that Jameson um, smoothie. That yes. Amazing. Travel Overall, however far you need. <laughs> Overall, it sounds agree. like it was a great fucking trip. <laughs> it was. Uh, mostly high, mostly drunk, mostly full. The entire. Like I said, I uh, barely got yelled at, you know, by anybody. Other that than was that impressive. One guy. I will say, I will say, we got away clean. Yeah, you know, unscathed, other than being called faggot. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I think I gained like eight pounds. I think I did too. Like literally, dude. I have yep. not been able to eat food for like two days because I just, I, I I'm just really over it. Hungry, oh, I've yeah. eaten like one meal a day if that <laughs> yeah i usually don't eat much more than that if Just i do but it's it's like my portions are low no nah, i've been on my grind still you know and my portions and are never low uh-huh you know <clears throat> you said beef cheese beef cheese papa bear eats big old portions brisket you know it i need ribs every weekend sunday dinner baby let's make it happen Get- i want my baby back baby back baby back baby back Ribs. <laughs> we gotta go back for some more nachos. I ate a baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that was Memphis. Yeah, the train home was was a good time. Though. I just slept. I slept. I, I woke slept. up in Homewood. Mm-hmm. That was it. Uh, I got somebody, about seven somebody minutes. Died on our train though. That's something, for sure. Something happened. It was bad. That's why we were so late. We were stopped for a while. It was very bad, I guess. There was they explained to us over the thing, but every time they started talking, I had headphones in. I went to take it out. I was in and out of sleep every time. I heard the end of one. They were like, Yeah, they're in an ambulance. I was like uh, Yeah. I was like, Oh shit. Didn't even notice. (laughs) I just went back to sleep. (laughs) Oh, turn that damn light back off. (laughs) Yeah, it's like, Oh, y'all are taking him to a hospital in Homewood? He's not gonna be okay. Just call it. 
<laughs> Y'all should have just took this train all the way. He could have went to a real hospital. Uh, I think somebody got into like a fight. Is from I what hope I so. Heard. Oh, that'd be great. That's not, fun then. Not like just somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Good. That's the train. Yeah, turn I, up. Yeah. Yeah, you, people are looking to fight on, on the train, train for yeah. sure. You got that train was you crowded all the way home. That's people. for sure. Most a lot of people were there. Yeah, people ride it. People go all that's the way to they, Chicago. That's why they run them. It's nice. You know? I'm an Amtrak guy. We were going to go. I wanted it to be Nashville, but the Amtrak doesn't go there. No, it was better this way. You can only fly? You could drive. Drive and fly? Walk? Hike? You want to bike there? You could do all those things. You just can't take the train. You just can't (laughs) take the fucking train. Yeah. (laughs) I can't believe it. Yeah. And I ain't taking no bus. Oh, I forgot bus. This one, I would one just, it would around. make more sense to just rent a nice whip and drive it out and back. It must be, I don't know, it must be a tough train to build, you know? Do you, you think any train's easy to build? We literally only built our trains because we had Japanese slaves do it. That makes it probably not easy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? Um, No. Mm. You should read. The me- <laughs> <laughs> The Metro specifically? The Amtrak specifically, specifically? Almost exclusively. Do you think the Amtrak has exclusive train lines? You don't think that freight trains use the same tracks? No, I never really thought about it. You didn't think about it? Even though we ran parallel with a bunch of freight trains the whole time? I was mostly sleeping. I guess I didn't even <laughs> notice. I've never noticed all the. Fr- I've noticed some freight yards as you come into m- cities, but I've never noticed them running. Uh, yeah, I guess I have noticed them running. Have the you city. ever noticed a freight train on a metro track? You never once in the suburbs were stopped. Been in the tracks and been like, "Fuck! I hope this is a metro." <laughs> and then you're there for 25 minutes. That's because trains go on the same tracks. There's not like, how many networks of trains could there possibly be? <laughs> Do you understand how much infrastructure goes into building a railroad? Project SkyTrain. They're not just throwing these things down left and right. Oh, we got a train over here, a train over there. Where do you want to go? Like, no. <laughs> there are set. Oh, my God. What? It's just like, what am I doing that's so different? <laughs> From what you're doing, like <laughs> that, you just have no idea. Um, no, no. Like, you think I researched this? It's just like, oh, trains go on these tracks because these yeah, are that, train tracks. That's so great logic. A train will go on them. I'm speaking specifically about the. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty specific. <laughs> the slaves that were <laughs> that designed them, you're saying. We gotta shut no, this they down. Built them. <laughs> it was a World War II thing. You gotta yeah, you gotta look it up. <laughs> Give me a book report for next episode. Next episode we're gonna do Japanese slaves building trains and <laughs> Martin Scorsese's the king of comedy. <laughs> so tune in next week for another great episode. Justice, thanks for being back. This is four in a row to start the year. What a great time. Ricky, it's been a minute. <laughs> Pleasure as always. Once Jim, a week. I finally get a mic where I can hear myself on, so that's good too. Yeah, we we worked that out. We're moving stuff around. We're, yeah. mo- we're growing. We're growing. Rate, review, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, went swimmingly. It was fine. And remember, <laughs> I are fat. You are fat. We are fat. Calculator.